Hey guys, it's Nick aka the one and only Nick's Games and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install plugins on your rainbow Minecraft server hosted through Apex Minecraft hosting or any other remote server host this should work so nevertheless let's go ahead and jump on into this first off you're going to need this the free FTP solution this is a free program called FileZilla uh, you can go to the first link in the description down below and click right here download FileZilla client and then go through and install it just like you would any other program it's just a program you download it and install it just like any other program I'm not going to go through that but you want to download this right here FileZilla client and if you click on that it should automatically download oh okay so actually you've got to go to SourceForge and then download it so yeah it's kinda sucks that it's a little like that but you can still do it and zero seconds then it downloads so as you can see right there it is downloading nevertheless I've already got it downloaded right here we also need to come to this page or the second link in the description. Go here and you'll be able to see all of the rainbow plugins. Specifically, you'll see this when you click on the link and then you can go into different, you know, server properties or different categories and all that. We're going to go into world management and go ahead and download world rainbow edit or the world edit for rainbow. So I'm going to click that and it will go ahead and take me to this page where we can click right here to download the jar file. We do want to keep the jar file. So that's what you want to do to download a plugin. That's how you download any of the plugins on the site. Find the ones you want, and uh, the download button is always right there. Now what we want to do is go to our Multicraft login. Okay, so everybody's is going to be different depending on what server host you're with. If you're with Apex, which is who I would recommend, go to apexminecrafthosting.com slash Multicraft. It will take you to a page that looks like this, where we then will want to hit servers up at the top corner up here. Take this page, hit servers, and then you'll want to go into the server you want to work on. In my case, that's this stone server. So I'm going to click that. It will launch into the stone server, and here we go. Now we want to come over here to files, and then go to FTP file access. So we need to get this information, okay? This is some important information here that we need to get, and we need to enter this, once you've downloaded and installed FileZilla, into FileZilla. So I'm going to go ahead and put these side by side just for the ease of use. And there is apparently a new version of FileZilla able to be installed, but that's no big deal. So... Here we go. So side by side here, we want to enter the host from right here over into here. So I'm just going to copy that. So host, control C, control V. I can type. That's wrong. Okay. I didn't control C correctly. Control C. I control X. Control V. Username is right here. As you can see, FTP username. Control C. Control V. Port 21. And your password is going to be whatever you logged into Multicraft with. It's the exact same. So whatever you logged into Multicraft with, whatever that password is, that's what you're going to enter here into password. I'm going to go ahead and enter that, and I will see you guys uh, here in just a second whenever I've done that. Once you've entered your password, you can then go ahead and click Quick Connect. It'll go through, and boom. As you can see, all of the Rainbow stuff is already here, and you can be sure you have Rainbow up and running by uh, Rainbow.properties right there. To install a plugin, all you've got to do is this plugins underscore mods folder. Double click on that, and boom, there you go. Now what you also want to do is you'll most likely be all the way back here, right? What you want to do is go into local disk, C, and then you want to go into users, and then you want to go into your name right here, whatever your user account is. In my case, that's Nick. And then you want to go into desktop. And then now you can scroll down until you find rainbowedit.jar. Right there it is. Click that. Drag it over. It'll wait. As you can see, it's doing stuff. And boom, it installs. There we go. Now we can just go ahead and close out of FileZilla. By the way, you install all plugins like that. It's that simple. Just click and drag in FileZilla after entering the FTP information. We can now come back over here to Apex and to go back, we're going to start the server. That's what we need to do. Come over here, click start. That's going to start the server. While it's starting, I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up Minecraft and get into, uh, into the game so we can actually play on this puppy. And I can show you guys that this is working, something that I always do. So uh, just to prove it here that it is on 1.8, we'll come here and we'll hit 1.8. Save profile, click play, and as you can see, we're in 1.8 there. When Minecraft opens, it'll be right here. It'll say 1.8. So 1.8 is up and, uh, and working. I go into multiplayer, direct connect. That's my server IP. 
and logging in we can then do slash slash I believe works or slash wand I forget the uh, the rainbow edit commands here let's see okay so that's not working what will work though is slash game mode zero or crap slash game mode one and then give myself a wooden axe and then we can right click there and right click there slash copy and then we can come over here and slash slash paste now it pasted those blocks underground there for some reason and that isn't an issue with the install that is an issue uh, well with the mod itself so that's a problem and uh, they're working on it but yeah rainbow isn't the most up to date as far as plugins go people are working on tons of plugins and uh, there we go see as you can see it actually did paste it there but way off from where I actually wanted it to but anyway guys it is up and working it is up and running and as you can see actually I think it's slash slash paste yeah, so it's just pasting it near where I want it to, but not exactly. That is a little annoying, but like I said, that's not anything with your install. That's simply just an issue with the plugin itself. But that's how you can install plugins on a remote server host, Apex Minecraft hosting, um, on your Rainbow server. Pretty easy stuff, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That was a voice crack. I'm Nick's Game. Subscribe if you haven't already. I make awesome Minecraft tutorials every single day of the week, and I am out. Peace. And here's some videos you guys probably want to go check out. On the left is Rainbow Plus Apex. How to start a rainbow server on Apex Minecraft hosting. Go check out that video to see exactly how to do that. And on the right is how to install Optifine in Minecraft 1.8. Yes, Optifine updated for 1.8. And that video shows you how to install it. Also, check out the videos in the center of your screen to see how to grow on YouTube. There's a bunch there that'll take you to a channel where you can see all of those. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out. Peace.